ago I wrote for the Los Angeles Times Syndicate and one of the things I did was food interviews with famous people. So I decided I wanted to interview Paul Newman. Well, my editor said, are you kidding me? Paul Newman hasn't done an interview in five years. When I walked into his apartment building in New York City, the doorman greeted me and he said someone would be down to get me in a minute. Well, the elevator doors parted, and there was Paul Newman. At the time, he was wearing tinted sunglasses, and so he let them slide down his nose, and in that famous gravelly voice, he goes, Hi. So I got on the elevator with him, and there we were riding up shoulder to shoulder. He wasn't saying anything, so I just turned to him and I said, So, are you nervous? He said, A little bit. And so we had lunch together in his beautiful antique-filled apartment, and uh, he described lunch as his very favorite salad. And so I will show you exactly how he made it. Well, Paul Newman loved bacon in his salad, and it had to be really, really crispy. He mentioned that he hated undercooked bacon. So I am frying about six or seven pieces of bacon, nice and crispy, which we will put on the salad later. And while this is frying, we'll chop up the vegetables. He liked to start with one small head of bib lettuce. Cut this up. Put it in a big bowl. Next, three heads of French endive. He sliced it like this. and we'll add that to the bib lettuce. He really liked a lot of crunch to his salad. Next, about a cup of chopped tomatoes. One red bell pepper. He liked to cut that into strips. The bacon is nice and crispy, so I'm going to put that on a paper towel, let it cool down, and back to the salad. Red onion. Just cut real thin slices like that of red onion. About a quarter of a cup's worth. Next we're going to season it with some salt, about a half a teaspoon, and about a quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper. And guess what kind of salad dressing? This is exactly what he whipped out of the refrigerator. This is Newman's own Italian olive oil and vinegar dressing. About a half a cup. And now we'll give it a nice toss. And finally, we're going to crumble all this bacon on top. 
And he said, you leave the bacon on top and you don't toss it with the dressing because you don't want it to get too soggy. So that goes all over the top. Mmm. It's delicious. I love the endive and the bacon makes it. And yes, his eyes are that blue. They're the color of Windex. And when I asked him why I got the interview with him after five years, he just said to me, because you're not Barbara Walters. Mm -hmm.